my name is ajit kumar and uh, today i am going to show you am generation using matlab this is my first part of video so let's start i am going to typing in notepad plus plus you can also use notepad let's start clc this is for clear command window up to that clear all this is for clear command window as well as workspace up to that close all this is for close all windows after running the program up to that t i am going to define here time times per division into the graph now i am going to taking input users taking input from users first of all vm modulating voltage or modulating voltage or uh, you can say that also uh, this is for uh, taking in this is for message signal so i am going to taking input from users so i am let's say that message signal amplitude signal amplitude after that vc carrier voltage carrier signal amplitude carrier signal amplitude after that fm message frequency message frequency after that fc fc carrier frequency carrier frequency as you know this this four is mandatory for uh, mandatory input for uh, am generation signals because this is all of mandatory for am generations so let's begin uh, now modulation index i am using mi short form for modulation index as you know modulation index equal to vm by vc vm by vc simply you can define here and after that sm modulating voltage i am going to say sm modulating voltage equal to sm loads sorry sm equal to as you know modulating voltage vm equal to sm equal to uh, v, vm sin omega mt so i can define here i can define here vm into sin into sin sorry two into pi into fm into t i have not defined omega mt because omega m2 mt is not defined in this program in matlab so i am using instead of omega mt 2 pi fmt as you know this is also true you can also write this form of so after that i am going to sub plot sub plot sorry
subplot 3 as you know i am uh, i want uh, three output one uh, one carrier signal and one amplitude signal and uh, uh, after that uh, am signal so i want three row this three indicates for three row after that one indicates for one column and after that uh, one indicates for position which position you do you want to print in this in the graph after that plot plot time t for time sm sm for modulating voltage or carrier or sorry sorry or message signal sm now uh, i have also define i am also define here so to sorry x level x level because program don't understand what is x level which you want to print so x level as you know x level is also always times time x level y level here y level i am i have want to print amplitude 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 after the title which is that which is title for your plot so you can de should define here title title message signal sorry i want to first plot message signal so i am going to see message message signal message signal now after that uh, uh, i want to grid on you can also of uh, this don't effect in uh, your matlab output this is for showing matlab from better so i am going to grid on after that i am going to define carrier voltage sc suppose sc is my short form for carrier voltage sc equal to as you know vc sin omega ct but i have i am defining here omega ct instead of 2 pi f ct so vc vc into sin 2 into pi into f c into t 2 into pi into f c into t now i am going to sub plot sorry so plot three row one column and now i am i want to second position so second because first position is my message signal and second position is my carrier signal after that plot sorry here time after that sorry here also is not putting like that because time and sc sc time sc because sc is my carrier voltage carrier signal now i am going to define here was again x level 
एक्स लेवल 